Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy. Today I'm talking about some recent Navi leaks. So for a while now we've been hearing rumors and leak after leak about Navi, the upcoming AMD Radeon GPUs. Uh, some of them have had some good sort of evidence to support them and others have been <laughs> a bit more mixed. But this is looking quite interesting. So this comes from WCCF Tech. Uh, via video cards because of course it does <laughs> uh, we get so many leaks from them and this is actually from a Mac OS update so it reads the code for the update in question was spotted by GigaMax on the Tony Mac x86 forum which video cards picked up on the source code includes four Navi graphics processors the Navi 16 the Navi 12 Navi 10 and Navi 9. So, this is something we've heard for a while. Uh, Jim over at Adore TV, when he put up his big sort of uh, leak video, which I have spoken to him about on Twitter, uh, they went over the GPUs in that, as well as the Ryzen uh, 3 uh, CPUs. So this is kind of adding to that. So we've heard about the different Navi variants that could be out there, but this is giving us sort of more indication that they could be coming. And it's looking like they will be coming sometime in July. So that's actually a lot sooner than I think a lot of us thought it may be. Uh, but others, I guess, figured it might be at CES or, or even sooner than that. So if it puts it sort of June, July, that's kind of Computex type time. Uh, so that could be when they're planning to announce it or something like that. So in terms of the actual variants, so we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. So there's the Navi 12, and that will most likely be the kind of mid-range, maybe entry-level one. So uh, the RX 3060, that'll probably be uh, 75 watt TDP, 4 gigs of GDDR6. And they're saying that will most likely be coming in at $130. Then you have the Navi 12, that's 8 gigabytes GDDR6, that's 120 watt TDP, coming in at 200 bucks, and that'll be to go against sort of the 2060 potentially uh, and the RX 3080 which will be the Navi 10 again 8 gigs of GDDR6 150 watt TDP and that'll be to go against the uh, 2070 sort of GTX 1080 at 250 dollars so that kind of gives you an idea of where they'll be coming in at now based on that information a few things I'd like to point out so these would all be on 7 nanometer remember of course so that's going to be really good the fact that they would be going with the GDDR6 memory would be also very good. Uh, from the aspect of HBM memory is very expensive, which also entails, you know, AMD doesn't make as much profit on them, but it also means that the pricing is always going to be kind of high because of that. So what do I think? Well, I don't believe that AMD would undercut NVIDIA by this degree. What do I mean by that? Let's say the RX 3080. If that is matching the 2070 in terms of performance, then it won't be half the price. 2070 for like an entry level model is 500 US dollars. I highly doubt AMD would undercut them to this sort of degree, being half the price. For one, they wouldn't make as much profit, and two, it just wouldn't make sense for them to undercut that hard. Now, I, I do think they would. And maybe by the time this comes out, maybe NVIDIA will have reduced the prices slightly on things like the 2070, down maybe $50 or something like that. So I would assume that it would most likely be probably $400 US dollars. Maybe it would be that $100 cheaper. I don't think it would be less than that because the 2060 is at $350. So you would just need to uh, obviously be a little bit more expensive than that, but also be... Uh, much better in performance and if it's matching the 2070 then I would say yeah 400 would be probably where I would put it then for the 3070 that would probably be at like 300 because if that's going to match the 2060 uh, you probably want it to uh, obviously be cheaper but if it's matching in performance yeah being about 50 bucks cheaper maybe to come in at like 275 something like that and that's kind of like where I see it I do believe they will undercut NVIDIA if they can. Well, obviously, it's going to be good if it's matching the performance of the NVIDIA equivalent, but it's also maybe $100 less than uh, $100 US less, then people will obviously trend towards those AMD cards. 
But of course, there's a lot of stuff still out there. We don't have any idea or any more information or anything like that. Uh, we need more sp specific information in terms of uh, how many stream processes it'll have, what other features it may have have in it. Because obviously, being the RTX cards, that is a big part of what NVIDIA is pushing. The ray tracing stuff, DLSS, that's a big part of it. And we'll just have to see what comes with Navi. You also have to consider the Radeon 7. That's going to be coming in at 799 US dollars, 800 US dollars. They're not going to have that much of a pricing gap going from the 3080 to the Radeon 7. It's not going to be that dramatic. They could reduce the price on the Radeon 7. Sure, I think they will. But uh, yeah, they're not going to have that huge of a gap between the two. Uh, considering the alleged performance of both of the graphics cards. So this was just a short video giving you guys a bit of an update on what's been happening there. This is looking promising and maybe we will be getting Navi a bit quicker than we thought. But let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe you've heard things I haven't. What are you thinking so far? All you guys are saying I'm waiting for Navi. Okay, what have you heard? Maybe you heard things I haven't. Uh, what are you specifically wanting? from AMD and be realistic about it. Don't say I want it to be like 2080 performance at like 400 US dollars. It's like, let's be real. <laughs> They're not gonna make it that cheap. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking. Maybe you've heard things. Let me know in the comment section down below. We'll have a discussion about it. I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown because I have a showdown coming up very, very soon. 2060 versus 590, right around the corner. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time.